All right, here we have a 2021 Alpha Wolf, model 30RGB-L. This is a two bedroom unit, um, roughly 37 feet long, weighs 6,900 pounds, uh, sleeps eight. Uh, it's pretty loaded up. We'll kind of walk through and go through some of the features with you. Um, it is currently winterized, so I can't show you the plumbing, but we tested it all before we winterized it and everything is in good working order. This is a 50 amp trailer, so it actually has two air conditioners. Um, as we walk around to the front, it's gonna get a little noisy. I'm power powering it with a generator currently. Um, but we'll start off in the rear. Nice large storage compartment. You can see it has a large power awning, LED lit. Two doors, one's a private door for the bathroom, the other one is for the rear living quarters. Six gallon gas electric water heater, aluminum wheels, backlit speakers and a television mount. Nice outdoor kitchen with stove top and refrigerator. Notice the steps are both drop down steps for easy access. Leash latch in the front. Stabilizer jacks in all four corners. This trailer also has a solar option. So there's a solar panel on the top and a solar controller and batteries shut off right there. Might get a little noisy now. You can see it has a nice front docking lights, full fiberglass front cap, lower diamond shield, power tongue jacks just operated by pressing retract or extend. It will be sold with two propane tanks and a 12 volt battery. This here is the switch for operating the docking lights. Other side access to the front storage. Large power slide out. Your dump station is right below down here. And it shows you on labels there which tank is being emptied. Fifty amp connection here. And then here's all your water supplies including an outdoor shower. You see it does have a black tank flush as well. Spare tire on the rear. Pre-wired for backup camera. I'm gonna pause the video while I climb the ladder. All right. You can see the roof is in great condition. Doesn't need anything at all. There's your solar panel, skylights, roof vent. No patches or anything. Feels nice and solid. Looks like it does have the Wi Fi hotspot prep package. Wine guard satellite antenna. And you'll see the rear air conditioner and the front air conditioner. I'm going to repause it while I climb down the ladder. All right. Full glass doors, front and rear, with friction hinges on them. I got the heat going in here, so it's nice and toasty. It's about 25 degrees outside. As you walk in, right away, you'll see a nice large pantry. Turn the light on so you can see a little better. It's great to have this big of a pantry in a travel trailer. I'll try to back up to give you a nice overview. You can see the LED lights on the top of the slides. Fireplace down below, spot for a television there. Large refrigerator. Oven and stove top. To light those, so just put them to the on position. Click here. Desired burner and then click the sparker. You shut them off, just turn them back to the off position. 
And if you want the extra counter space, you can fold this down. Beautiful counter space here. High bay sink. Barn style sliding door for the rear bedroom. Again, more storage in here and an air conditioner in here. As we walk forward, large bathroom with private entrance. Also has access to the bedroom. Large shower, toilet. Definitely a big bedroom, bathroom. And then walking into the front bedroom. Looks like a camper queen mattress. Storage above and on the sides of the bed. And again, separate access to the bathroom. Power center below. That has your fuses and your breakers. Thermostats on the wall here. You can cycle through the different functions here. Turn off the heat. Move it to the air conditioning. The air conditioning won't cool now because it's only 42 degrees in here. Um, you can hear the fan turn on now. And cycle back through to turn the furnace back off. Again, it's showing you your solar voltage there. On electric power awning control and slide out control. To bring the slide out in, just press the button. And you see the whole wall coming in. Push it back out, just press the button the other way. Awning is the same way. I'm not gonna do that right now because it's too cold outside. Don't wanna damage the fabric. However, it is in good condition. Rear air conditioner is controlled right on the unit itself. USB ports by the bed. You'll find them kind of throughout the camper in different areas. AM, FM radio. And that should be it. It's a beautiful trailer.